everybody, E here. Hello everybody, E here. Welcome back to another book review. Today we are talking about Orm Shadow by Priya Sharma. This, this book came out of nowhere for me. It was a buddy read with my friend Tracy and uh, my friend Jen. Both of them are from Ladies of Horror, Horror Fiction. Uh, Tracy's a really, really good friend of mine. I talk to her quite often. Um, but Jen reread the book with us. She had just read the book recently and she loved it so much that she was willing to reread it again with us. We had an absolute blast. Um, you know I love characters. If you're a fan of this channel, you know that's the number one thing that I look for. It's character, then it's pacing. And then if it's a horror novel, I look for dread. So, you know, I look for different things in different books. But mostly, every single book, no, not mostly, every single book is all about the characters for me. Pacing is second. Luckily, this one had fantastic characters. It had uh, fantastic pacing. And it had amazing dread. It's not really a horror novel, but you knew reading it something bad was going to happen. Or, you know, bad things were coming. Um, if you read the description of this book, before you read the book itself, you will you will you will get your payoff. Is all I'm gonna say. I'm trying not to spoil anything about this one because in this genre, I think it's like it's not high fantasy. It, it's it's fantasy, but it's more like a fabulism kind of deal because this really felt like reading a fairy tale. Um, yeah, even along the lines of something like Cinderella. Uh, that's what it felt like. Um, but there is some stuff toward the end, man. That is absent absolutely amazing I had goosebumps and I was like she's actually gonna do it she's actually going to do it and she did it uh, all too often you read books of like literary stature something like this that that's deep and well drawn and well thought out and at the end you come to the end of the book and it's just like is is that it that I'm I, I get the message but is is that it there's no climax there's no real denouement denouement however you pronounce it I'm sure Patrick will let me know down there in the doobly-doo but uh, the, um, the, this book, it, it, it spoke to me. I know that's so cliche to say, but it's about a young man named Gideon who goes to live with this other family because his father has been shamed. He leaves his uh, job as a professor and he comes to live with his brother. So it's Gideon's uncle. Bad stuff just happens over and over and over again and it got really, really heavy. And then there was the payoff. And that payoff... It, it, this is one of those books, and I said this on Goodreads, if, man, when people say that they want to give a book six stars because it is that good, because it has risen above even their previous five-star reads, this is the kind of book that they are talking about, a book that fully commits to an idea and gives you one hell of a payoff, so there at the end, you are just fully and utterly satisfied with the story. I read this over the course of maybe three hours. It's super short. I think it's 180 pages. The the text and type, the spacing, all that stuff is huge. It's a very quick read. It's from uh, Tor. I think it's part of their novella series. I'm not sure. Um, but again, you get your payoff. The the thing that they that sh that she builds up throughout the entirety of the book is there at the end, and it is absolutely amazing. So, have you read Orm Shadow uh, by Priya Sharma? If you have, let me know down in the doobly-doo whether or not you loved it or whether or not you hated it. Especially if you hated it, because this is one of those books, man, that, I, that I've that i read. It, they, they come across, I come across every now and again. I can't see anyone finding any fault in this book. So, if you found something, please let me know. You're not going to spoil my enjoyment of the book. You're not going to make me think any less of it, but I'd love to hear your opinion on why it didn't work for you. So, until next time, I have been E, you have been you. This has been another book review. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye-bye!